so I'm sleeping if you can't tell already it's only like 12 30 in the afternoon but I just had Chick-fil-a and it like completely drained me and I stole all of my energy so I'm annoyed I'm in this parking lot sitting under the shade tree and everybody keeps pulling up next to me like go find another shade tree this is my spot <laughs> So y'all, look at my hair. It's time for a relaxer. It's past time for a relaxer. But I've always heard the term sweat your perm out. But I never ever experienced this until yesterday. I had to straighten my hair because I needed a trim. And then I went to the gym and I didn't wrap it up. I just put a hat on. And I like it's so thick under him. I was sweating, like it wasn't like dripping on my face or nothing. It's because the new growth stopped it. <laughs> so my hair was so wet. I'm like, and I need to wash it, but I just washed my hair. I've been washed my hair four times in the last two weeks. And you know, chocolate girls ain't supposed to ain't supposed to wash their hair like that not like once a week is what we do or once every two weeks and so i'm like i do not feel like washing my hair at all and then i was going to throw some rollers in to see what it would do but it done got so thick am i sweating i think that's just my shirt i need i guess i should throw this away I don't know. But anyway, y'all know I don't care for real. Who cares? It's a t-shirt. And it's 90 degrees out here anyway. So yeah, so I need to, I don't know, I still might throw some rollers in it to see. And I might straighten my roots out to see what happens. But I'm so fed up. I am absolutely fed up with my hair. I'm fed up. I just don't know what to do. I'm just super fed up. Or whatever so what's been up what y'all been up to let me know down below what's been going on how's your summer going oh i made oh my gosh i made some banging meatloaf okay so remember y'all i told y'all that i was on 75 hard well last week and my honey went out of town and we both like fell off i think I forgot to take the picture or read or something and he forgot to do one of those also so we just kind of been smashing ever since <laughs> which is terrible because it's so crazy I didn't realize how much crap I had gotten out of my system but now it's back and now I can just feel the energy shift like I don't have as much energy as I used to have my um I can feel like the yucky. I hate this word, but I gotta say it. I, like I'm more mucusy, so it's just disgusting. But I'm a um, I'm not. I'm gonna get back off here soon, the middle of next month. But I'm not gonna go super crazy though. Like I had a pack of cookies from Walmart, which I love their cookies for whatever reason. I had those cookies and. I made a peach cob. I made a whack peach cob. I was so mad because I be just like sometimes I want to do stuff, but I don't be wanting to like take forever. Like roll out the crust. Although my crust I make is banging. I use um, Divas Can Cook recipe, banging. But I don't be wanting to um, do all of that. So I was like, let me do this little quick recipe I found. She had great reviews. People talking about it was banging and everything. And then I make it. And I was like, yeah not good at all so i might have to um, redeem myself and make another one this weekend because every time i make something that's nasty i feel like i gotta make make something that tastes a thousand times better than what i usually make to redeem myself <laughs> but anyway i made this banging meatloaf like the meatloaf was so good it was so good I thought I overcooked it, but I just 
made it just right. Oh, that's what I got to write down. What did I put in it? Okay, it was three pounds of ground beef. I did a onion soup mix package. I did adobo salt or pink, pink Himalayan salt, pepper, garlic powder. I did two eggs. Kroger honey barbecue sauce, Worcestershire sauce. Um, I think that was about it. Oh, Italian breadcrumbs. I mixed that all up, put it in um, the oven on 375, which I would usually do 350, but I was already making something else. And I forgot to turn the oven down. Oh, I was roasting garlic in the oven, so I forgot to turn the oven down, but. When I tell you that meatloaf came out bang, that meatloaf was delicious. Oh, so you hear me? Like banging, biggity 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 banging. It was absolutely delicious. Um, what was it? What What am I going to talk about? No, I don't know. Um, I hope y'all can hear me chewing. I forgot what I was about to say. Girl, I forgot that fast. Uh, that energy is gone. I'm about to hit the gym here soon. If I can muster up the energy to get there. That Chick-fil-A just took me out, y'all. And it was just a kid's meal. But it's cool, because tonight I'm going to eat some um, fries. Why did it go dark? Ugh, whatever. I'm going to eat some nacho fries from down at the Mexican place. I want to do brunch tomorrow. I want to get real cute and do brunch tomorrow with my honey. I want some mimosas. But I don't know. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, too. I'm thinking about it. Not a hundred percent sure. Um, did I tell y'all Daniel started archery classes? He's really good too. Like, I think I, I'm sorry if I be repeating myself. I never remember what I'm talking about. It's just random thoughts. If I remember, I'll in insert a video clip here so y'all can see him doing archery. Um, what was I gonna say? I don't know. I'ma just go because I don't remember what I was gonna say. Okay, okay. Well, I appreciate each and every one of you. And um, remember to smile because you're beautiful and love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, why would anyone else? Until next time, guys. Ta ta.